So it appears here that according to this book coming out that Aaliyah was drugged before her fatal plane crash 20 years ago. Let me take y'all back to for a little bit on how big this, how much of a big deal this was. Aaliyah at this point was getting big. Like she had done movies. She was about to release her album titled Aaliyah. She was doing a lot of press. She was out here doing press. And she was going to film a video called Rock the Boat. And then that's when the plane just crashed. I remember that day vividly. We I was leaving a party. And it flashed on the news that Aaliyah had got killed in a plane crash. And it just... Similar to how people felt when looking at Kobe Bryant today. It was the same exact feeling. Because it came out of nowhere. And sooner or later, a month later. People didn't even have time to really grieve. Because then we got hit with 9-11. Tell me how crazy those coincidences happened in American history. Kobe Bryant dies in a, in a, in a helicopter crash, unexpectedly, nobody expected. A month later, COVID-19. That's spooky. But going back into the video here and what I'm going to talk about with this book here, it's going on 20 years since Aaliyah passed and this book is coming out. And it says here, it was then Russell claimed that a team member produced a pill, which Aaliyah took and fell into a deep sleep, which she remained in when the pilot finally agreed to fly the group back to Florida. They took her out of the van. She didn't even know she was getting aborted on a plane. Russell said in Baby Girl, she was on the plane asleep. Wow. When Aaliyah's body was recovered nearly 20 feet away from the wreckage, she was still strapped on her seat, slumped to the left, to the five foot seven inch frame folded over. According to the book, an autopsy report concluded that her survival was unthinkable, citing her extensive burns and major head trauma. For Landoni, it's a bittersweet revelation that Leah was knocked out when she was taken aboard the plane, admitting she was unsure if she wanted to take, if sure if she even wanted to include the pill detail in her book. She ultimately decided it fit into this story and I think debunked something that we've been believing in all this time. The only thing I've taken with me is that after 20 years, I can say that Leah didn't want to get on the plane. She said, it made me feel a little better, but not much. This didn't even have to happen. She should still be here. I think that's the saddest part. She deserved better. Now, going back up here a little bit more and getting more detail with the story according to this book, it said, already experiencing a two-hour delay due to the plane late arrival, Russell claimed that Aaliyah grew even more flustered when she finally saw a small plane and refused to board it. At the same time, the pilot was insisting that the plane would be too heavy with eight passengers, including Aaliyah's 300-pound bodyguard and all of their luggage and video equipment. The air staff and Aaliyah had a common sense that the plane was overweight. Russell is quoted in the book. Pushing back against her team, Aaliyah climbed into the taxi van, complaining of a headache and said she was going to take a quick nap. Meanwhile, her camp continued to try to convince the pilot to fly them with all the luggage, according to Russell. Eventually, Russell said the member of Aaliyah's team came back to check on her and the singer retreated that she did not want to be on the tiny plane and that she had a headache. Now, let me say this. This book is going to really reveal a lot about Aaliyah's life. It's sad to see it's, her life was very tragic if you really look at it. Now, I will, I will guarantee this. If this is going to be an autobiography, I guarantee when this is going to throw R. Kelly right under the jail cell. When this book come out, R. Kelly going to be finished. If he isn't already, this is going to be the nail in the coffin. Because it's going to reveal to a new era about that relationship. So... We're going to see where this goes, man. But let me know what you guys think of the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button, holler.